what is the most important thing that the world needs right now? Well, I'd say peace or love. Most people answer that way. The world seems to be in chaos. The human seems to be in chaos. You cannot separate the human from the world. And what is the cause of this chaos? This chaos is how the human reacts to their emotion, how the human's been conditioned and taken over by their mind. So the conditioning is the problem? Absolutely. Each individual is conditioned from a young child. As they grow up, that conditioning separates them from each other and from other humans. So how would you say we can, we can look at this, this conditioning or this problem and, and solve it? I think first you have to look at yourself and understand that you have been conditioned understand how you've been conditioned and how that conditioning separates you from others. So by looking at yourself you will see that you perhaps have a certain belief, political belief maybe, religious belief. Whatever it is, that separates one human from another. And if you can see that within yourself, then it's possible to drop the conditioning and to become an unconditioned person. So how will this book benefit my everyday life? Well, if you're living your life unconditioned, you're no longer being governed by the fears, by the beliefs that trap the human and stop the human from being free here upon the earth. So if you could say what the truth is in um, a small sentence of what traps us all, what would you say? Well, if you can admit and understand that the world is in chaos and you are a part of that world, so you personally are in chaos, this book will help you understand how you've got into the chaos and the appropriate tools that you now need to remove yourself from that chaos. So if you could give me one tool right now that could help me with my life, what would you say that tool is? How about if I gave you two tools? First tool would be to listen and become aware of listening without thinking. Most people hear and think, but very few people actually listen. The other tool would be to observe without judgment, observing yourself without judgment, so the next time you look in the mirror, watch the judgments come out and start to observe yourself without the judgment and then apply that to every other human that you meet. So what makes your message different to other messages that are out there? I don't know if there is a different message. There's only one truth and if anyone's speaking the truth, then it will be the same as the truth that's in this book.